Hello everybody, my name is Alex, and welcome to Dragon Quest XI. This is a game that I'm very excited to play. I just got it recently, and I played a little bit of it, but I stopped playing because I wanted to record it. So I'm going to start a new file, and we will play through it together. Um, so I will let you guys know when um, I played up to. So without further ado, we'll get right into the game. Alright, so I'm going to leave all you back up because I know the menu's a little loud, so. We're going to create a new one. Uh, this is a, That is a different file that I accidentally tried to save and I went down to save it on a different one. So I would like to overwrite this one. Okay, I guess I would just use this one. Um, I guess I would name myself. My name? On YouTube, I guess. <laughs> Uh, we'll just, we'll actually just, I'll just make it, there we go, we'll add a heart, <laughs> yeah, there we go, that's my name, yep, 2D mode, no, we're gonna go with 3D mode, yes. Why not begin by adjusting various system settings to your liking? Uh, no thanks. I left them on default whenever I was playing before. We're gonna go with English. And that is good. Confirm. That is good. Confirm. Yes. This child, he is the one? There's the mark. There's no mistaking it.
boy. What in heavens are you doing here? And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? Oh, you're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. Thanks so much, you're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Several years later. You're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Alright, so I'm not going to be using the autoplay. I'm going to be using the confirm way. Just so, we can, so I can talk between text dialogues and stuff. <sighs> so it's finally here. The big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Hmm? <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> Alright, so like I told you guys before, I think I mentioned it, um, I have played through the beginning of this game before, and I will let you know when I have played up to. So I played up to, um, actually I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? So I've heard. My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tour, you see. As long as I can remember he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Have you ever heard someone say that before? Take a tumble and do myself a mischief. She's very Australian, I'm pretty sure. Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! Monsters! 
I just remember her saying that. <laughs> ah! Monsters! They're coming this way! Alright. Watch out! Fight, fight, and fight some more! Oh my god, a crit. Let's go. <laughs> I've never got that before. Go on! You can do it! Get him! <laughs> Tough little blighters, aren't they? Not really. Gemma. Six XP, six gold coins, and a medicinal herb. Thank you. I've actually never. Crikey! Like I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. I don't think so. I think they just ran away. They're slimes. They don't have legs. They just kind of hop along. I think you're faster than that. I'd hope. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. I've never actually looked around this part. Like, been up here. Book of Cobblestone, Great Land, and Parts of Home. Must are we the days of yore? Let it be so for the more. So that's just a prayer she was saying then. Back, but there's a chest back here. Got a pot lid, yeah. So I can equip that. That's a shield, right? Yeah. I don't have anything else. So that's it. I'm assuming there's nothing backwards for me. Like, if I go backwards, I don't think there's anything that would be back there for me to get. I think what I'm gonna do... ...really quick... ...is turn the music down a little bit. I'm probably turning down to five. No, I like the symphonic one. No, I'll just leave it like that. I like the music a lot, but I feel like it's too loud sometimes. Yeah, this game's been on my radar for quite a bit. I just... Um, haven't really... Like, I've wanted to play more games like this, but I, I just haven't... Is this a way I can go? Oh, I guess it is. I haven't been into RPGs, but... Until I played Final Fantasy VII, and then I just kind of really got into them. And now I'm playing this. And I'm really liking it. I don't know. But when I played the beginning of it, I really like it, and I want to keep playing it. Like, I wanted to record it, but I didn't know if I wanted to... Because I didn't know if I liked it, but now that I know that I like it... I'm gonna keep doing it so if you guys want to see more games like this let me know so you can go up and push x and that will pop let's go four xp four gold coins I don't think I'll be fighting everything, but I'll probably fight all these beginning ones just to get some XP and stuff. This is a pretty easy. Plums. If you guys want me to fight more Go or on. fight less, you can do it. I will. Go on. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to like fight more, fight less, fight everything. Fight, fight! 
fight and fight some more! Go on! Go on! You can do it! Get him! There we go. Defeated. Four XP, well four gold. Done. And we got a new spell? Let's go. I actually, I, whenever I played through this the first time, I skipped through all these fights, so I never leveled up before during this. I never got to use a spell. I'll probably skip these two slimes and fight this needler. Yourself. That's so annoying. Fight, fight, and fight yeah, now you're paralyzed up to your die. Try to use the spell actually. You just got him, maybe. Instead of like doing the, that way. 6 XP, 6 gold. Let's go. Chunk of copper. I don't know what I used that for yet. Let's fight this guy. I'll use a spell on him this time. I want to see how fast that kills it. Get him! Oh my god, that does a one hit. Okay. <laughs> nice to know. Fight, fight, and fight some more! Go on! Alright, he's dead. 6 XP, 6 gold. Seems to be the pattern that we're making. We get that every time. Cool. Look at all this fog. Uh, is this normal, do you think? I don't know. Could be. Ugly kid with a terrible haircut. <laughs> ah, 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 quick! You have to help him. I said, whenever I fought these um, like fog monsters the first time, all my attacks kept missing. So I'm gonna try to use a, try to use like spells this time and see if that works better. It's not fog at all. It's more monsters. All right, let's see. Let's try some spells on them. If that misses. Not missing yet. I don't know if it's just lucky or. I'm gonna die, Gemma. Thank you. <laughs> so usually the she does that, but I don't have any MP, so she'll have to do that next. There she goes. Now she'll give me some. Get him! Fight, fight, and fight some more! Well, they should kill him, right? Nope, not yet. <laughs> Go on! You can do it! Get him! Hey, there we go. We did it. Phew. 40 experience and 22 I'm so gold. Proud of I'm level you. three now. Let's go. I I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. The only thing jumping out surprising me is that terrible haircut. <laughs> but then those monsters appeared. Your haircut is a monster. Yeah, Why I'm done pecking on this kid. On? I'm sorry. <laughs> I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. <sighs> you saved my bacon again. <laughs> I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. Save my bacon. I wish you guys could have seen my 
first reaction to her saying that. I'm just gonna start saying that now. <laughs> Not far to the top now. Typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. All right. Let's go. So it's not like Breath of the Wild where you can't cr you can't climb in the rain, thankfully. I think we're allowed to climb in the rain. It's just a skill issue. Link, Link has a skill issue with that. <laughs> you can slide down that, which I did, but I guess you could fall down. I just found that out. I didn't mean to do that, but I did. Oh my god, we're here. Here we are at last. Oh. It's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Well, we better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? You said it. What? what was that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. of lightning it was almost like you made it happen maybe i did <sighs> look the mark on your hand it's glowing but it's gonna stop huh oh it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I saved your bacon. I don't know what I'd do without you. Again. <laughs> now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Gotcha. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer. Sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. <gasps> wow! Look! I'm still praying. I'm not done. Gemma, don't rush me. It just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. I'm a grown-up now? I don't feel any different. 
I suppose that's how real life is, though, isn't it? You just turn into a grown-up and you don't even know. I don't know what that is. I just picked it up because I saw it. Pink pine, I think it said. Nothing else around here. I don't think there's anything else. No. Alright, well, let's head back, I guess. Pika and Jumma make their way to the bottom of the tour. Ugly dog. I'm sorry, it's ugly. I couldn't hold back. I was trying to hold back the whole time. People like ugly dogs, though, so if that's your thing, it's not mine, but... We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> I explain what happened on top of the tour. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. All skill. Well... There's no doubt about it, the spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon, and the sunlight playing on the water, and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. Uh, you're still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. <laughs> now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. I will not. A lot of the male characters around here in Cobblestone have really bad haircuts. Home time. I speak in hums and grunts. <laughs> Alright, so from what I remember, whatever sent out Goldstone tour and completing the ceremony that significance onset adulthood. Okay. What I remember, I had to follow this pathway, and that gets me to my house. Soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. Rude. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. She's doing the um actually finger right now. <laughs> but you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? Ooh, dramatic pause. That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. I'm special. What's wrong with being special, Amber? Not my real mom. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. 
you and me need to have a little talk. Here. This belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... Well, he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! <sighs> Only I knew what that was. What? <laughs> oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. Righty. <laughs> Reincarnation of the Luminary. PK tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his upcoming trip. Eventually. Alrighty, well that's going to do it for episode one. If you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. And I'll be trying to do daily uploads for this series as best as I can. But if I miss a day, I'm sorry. And then the next episode, we're going to be continuing forward, and I'm assuming going to Heliodor. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.